The leadership of the Victoria Police is once again under pressure after a police watchdog released a report highly critical of its use of crime statistics. The Office of Police Integrity report found up to 15,000 crimes a year were incorrectly being listed as cleared or solved. There's pressure on the Bailiu government, the coalition government, to make changes to police leadership, but it says it will await the outcome of two further reports before taking action. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports from Melbourne. The police commissioner is anxious to dismiss the findings of the Office of Police Integrity, which says up to 15,000 crimes a year may have been incorrectly listed as solved when that's not the case. We do not accept that we are artificially inflating our clearance rates because we actually take a conservative approach. The commissioner says he's open to the report's recommendation of an independent crime statistics office. We will always have to be the body that actually collects the statistics but I think it's uh, a much improved situation if we've got someone totally independent from Victoria Police that can release that information, um, can explain it and can put it into its proper context. Senior criminal lawyers say the report is significant. They say crime statistics are one of the few ways to measure the effectiveness of policing and should be collated independently of the force. This report says that it's not. Uh, the statistics are completely unreliable and give a unreliable and a more glossy picture of the Victoria Police than we should be getting. Last October, the then Labor government was accused of pressuring police command into releasing statistics which showed violent crime had fallen. The state ombudsman is preparing a report on the matter and the now coalition government says no action will be taken until that report is released. Everybody will be better positioned to look at what we are now going to do in terms of the future and how we address the critical issue here and that is making certain we get these crime statistics before the people of Victoria uh, in a manner which is credible. The incident sparked a falling out between the Commissioner and his highly regarded deputy Sir Ken Jones who's believed to have objected to the release of the statistics on the ground it was under geopolitical pressure. Sir Ken recently resigned but was forced into a premature departure by Simon Overland, prompting the state government to order an inquiry into the leadership of the Victoria Police. This is an inquiry with specific powers and specific terms of reference to deal with an issue which I believe is of direct interest to all Victorians. Peter Farris QC is one of the most prominent critics of Simon Overland and says this OPI report puts more pressure on his leadership. When the uh, report uh, that the government is already carrying on comes in uh, about Overland, well then that'll be the end of him. The state government says the Ombudsman's report into the use of crime statistics will be released very soon. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Lateline.